Hi, Floss Tube. It's Kim with Kim J Inspired. Here for number 14. It is Saturday. I think it's October 3rd. I really don't know because it's been a crazy week. Um, I hope your week was better. I want to thank everybody who watches and subscribes. You have no idea how much it means to me that you spend a little bit of your week whenever you watch these with me. I'm, I'm very honored. I really am. And very excited to talk to all of you. I've made a lot of new friends since um, I've started these floss tubes. And it's been great and amazing. If you are new here, welcome. Everybody is welcome here. I don't care who you are. Anything, as long as you're a nice person, you know. I don't like mean people. I can be a mean person, and we've talked about that in one of my floss tubes, but I try not to be. I mean, I think we all have a little bit of meanness in us. But anyway, everybody's welcome here. If you like what you see, subscribe. But we do talk about cross stitch and every once in a while, some other little crafts and finishes and a little bit about life. And um, you guys share some of your life with me, which is really cool. Learned a lot about you guys last week. I loved all of the comments. Uh, it was really cool because um, Sarah is a Razorback fan. And, you know, Steve was on here last week talking about the Georgia Bulldogs and the Bulldogs and Arkansas were playing each other last week. So we had a little chat in the monthly magazine group about the game. The Bulldogs won, but it was touch and go there for a while. Um, and I was glad to meet another Vols fan. Yay, hello, Cindy. Hi, go Vols. And yes, I do have on my Vols bracelet again. Go team. But most importantly, where is it? Where is it? Vols, yes. So I do live in Georgia, but I lived in Tennessee for about 12 years. and. My son goes to the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Um, they have their own football team, but I'm just pretending that it's all the same. So, anyway, um, and yeah, don't feel bad if you like another team. I mean, no matter who it is. The Falcons are 0-3, but hey, the Braves beat the Reds. And they're going on to the National League um, Series. I forget which one it is. Steve is actually in the kitchen. He's not sitting right there now. He'll probably walk through here in a minute just... Just ignore him. Um, he'll be on later to do the prize drawing, and we'll have a great new prize coming up. So, anyway, um, as I said, a little bit of a stressful week, and that's why I'm so thankful for Cross Stitch and all of my Cross Stitch friends online, and my best friend who I talk to twice a week. We get to talk about Cross Stitch. It really helps to have something to distract you from work and all the things that are going on in the world. So, I just want to get right to it because we have a great prize drawing for the $25 Etsy gift certificate, and I have a new business I want to tell you about. I've mentioned them before, but we're going to, they're actually, we're going to do a $20 gift card from them, and I am so happy about that. So, what did I work on? Well, I showed you this Prairie Schooler last week, and I had done a little bit on it. I've got his eyes. He was creeping me out. So, I finished a little bit more of him last Saturday, and here he is right here. Oopsie. So, this is from uh, the 2019 Santa. I chose to do this one because it says peace on earth. Um, if that noise you hear is Steve making noise over there. He is now going to sit down. He'll be here in a moment to say hello to everybody. Anyway, peace on earth. So, I'm working. I want to try to finish one Prairie Schooler Santa a month, and I kind of realize that's a little ambitious. But I did get pretty far on this one last weekend, I thought. Um, so... So that is one thing that I worked on. Man, I just did jump in here. We're only third, three, three minutes into the video. Also, bless Steve's heart. We've been married seven years. We've been together longer than that. I have never cross-stitched anything for him. And I've been working on something for him. And I have some other projects for him. Um, so I actually picked up this piece. And I think one of the reasons why I don't stitch. This is a, from a kit that I bought off Stash Unload cross stitch only this is in it says air force aim high and i if you watch my other videos you know i don't like this i should have changed the fabric out but i didn't not real crazy about this white ada but i did work on it this week and got a little bit more done and actually i finished all the red in there i am not going to do all that crazy back stitching i hate back stitching and i'm not doing all that crazy back stitching in this project except to backstitch this star that's in here if you could see that yeah the lighting's good today so first day i've shot in a couple of weeks where i have the sun and i'm not going to backstitch the letters so 
I also, I want to get this one finished this month too, because I have so many projects that he has requested in my stash that are great and much better than this, this little Ada project. So, got some of that done for him. And then, I work on Christmas year round. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but I'll work on Christmas things year round. I just like to. And you guys have seen this piece before, but I hadn't picked it up in a while. This is Silent Night from Country Cottage Needleworks. And I know that Chelsea at Stitching with the Housewives says she wants to start this. Priscilla's done this. I've seen a lot of people do this. Um, I worked on it some this week and I want to get it finished in October too. And I think that I can. I am doing it on the called for 32 count Belfast Gray that I, I purchased this a long time ago. I got some of those snowflakes, which are the devil. I don't like doing snowflakes. I've got two other projects that have snowflakes and I may leave them out, but no. And I'm working on the tree. So and I absolutely, I still, when I look at that church, I love the way that white lightning from Weeks Dye Works looks in that church. It's just gorgeous. But yes, I would have probably done this on a different fabric, but I so wanted it to look like the picture. And so I bought the gray fabric a long time ago. This is my first linen project. This is my first project on 32 count linen. So it is coming along very well. As long as I wear magnifiers and, and you know, glasses or I'm fine. I could see the holes in it and it's really fun to stitch. I just hadn't picked it up in a while. So, and this is in my, and I don't know why I have it in this bag, but I just do for now. This is in my bag from Joyful Stitching. This is one of the first ones I purchased from Deborah. I still love this. This is Pigs in honor of my mom, and I love this bag. So, so much fun. All right, I am doing a, um, in the monthly, there is a monthly magazine group that is in on Facebook and I have, I've, I've been linking it below and I'll link it below today. And we're doing a different project from our magazines every month. I have a huge collection of magazines. So basically I am been picking one. Um, this October's theme is spooky. There's also an acrostic, it's ghost. I haven't decided if I'll do the acrostic. I didn't last time. What I've been picking are projects that I know I could get done in a month and then I can get finished. So, I, sh I think I showed this to you last week, but this is from a 1989, what is, that's a classic cross-stitch magazine. My aunt, um, she knew someone who cross-stitched and they passed away and they were going to throw away a whole bunch of stuff. I inherited a ton of stuff from her. I guess inherited is not the right word, but I was given a bunch of stuff from her. Been about, it's probably been 10 years ago, maybe. I don't know if it's been that long. So this magazine and a whole bunch of other great magazines were in that stash and, and I love it. I, and, there's some, and then some other books too. So I didn't have the orange fabric, I thought I did, but I think I told you guys, I went to a thrift store and found a bunch of cross stitch stuff. And this is some 18 count kind of, I don't know if this is burnt orange. I don't know what to call this color, but that is, that's what I'm working on. I, I just started up top over there where the moon is. I am planning on finishing this hopefully very soon. This is kind of like a priority project. Um, there I go with the ums again. I mean, you could do your drinking game now. Drink every time I say um. Just take a drink of something, okay? I'm not trying to encourage alcoholism here. Drink Coca-Cola or whatever you like to drink. But anyway, I am going to change out my mantle, which you guys saw all of the finishes that I had done there, um, in a couple of weeks and just have Halloween stuff up there just for two weeks. I don't put Christmas up until the day after Thanksgiving. Just my thing. And I made some Thanksgiving piece. I made a Thanksgiving piece last year. And I have two Thanksgiving pieces that I made over 20 years ago that go up every November. So my Halloween stuff will only stay up for a couple of weeks. But I am going to change my mantle. Speaking of Halloween stuff or pumpkins. I'm also doing the pumpkin stitch along with Laura at Stitching by the Shore. And I'll have to show you this on my my little Amazon pad. I don't. I keep calling it an iPad. It's not an iPad. It's it's an Amazon pad. Um, there I go. Um, again, I am doing. I hope there's not a glare. This is from Stitching with the Housewives. Priscilla Blaine doing Hello Pumpkin. I purchased several of the fancy flosses for it. 
I was going to kind of combine fancy flosses and the um, some DMC. Well, and then we're kind of getting into haul here. I won on Friday Night Fight with Be Stitch Me a few weeks ago. It was my first win. And it's a great win because when you see this fabric, I don't know if you're going to be excited about it as I am. I'm pretty excited about it. This is Pumpkin Patch by Be Stitch Me. And look at all the little shiny things. I know that's called opalescent. I just choose to call it shiny things. Look at this. It's gorgeous fabric. I really wanted to figure out how to do Hello Pumpkin on this fabric. So I had to put my thinking cap on. What I did was... I am changing out the pumpkins. I like white pumpkins, and I have a pattern that I of white pumpkins that I'm not going to get to this year. So I changed out the, the pumpkin color to white with some brown. I'm going to do the cup either in black or brown, and it'll have white writing on it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do the bird, but I will show you. This was my progress. I just started this last night. It stitches up fast. And this is 18 count fabric. I also know Laura likes to stitch on 18 counts. So, hey, not only am I doing her pumpkin birthday stitch along, but I'm also doing it on her fabric of choice, kind of by accident. I do love this fabric. I think this will turn out gorgeous, at least I hope. I am prepared to make adjustments if needed, but I'm just gonna open this back up and show you again. So again, I'm changing the pumpkin to white with some brown, and I'm gonna change the cup to either a brown or a black and the writing will be in white. So I hope that looks well. You can actually see, okay, there's a reflection. You can see Steve over there, that's hilarious. Anyway, and pardon all the stuff that I have on that table over there. So, that, today it's a sew day. You would think that I wasn't doing radio for a long time and learned not to say um and so and filler words as they call them. That is all the things that I have stitched on this week. I didn't have much haul this week. Um, I'll, I'll have a lot coming up next week, I think, but I didn't have much haul. That is fine, but I have to show you this because this is for my precious little four-year-old nephew, Hunter. I don't think that he or his mom watches. I had been doing a big Dumbo picture. He likes Dumbo. He went to Disney back in February before everything shut down. He rode Dumbo. I started a big Dumbo picture last year for him I messed it up. I was about two thirds of the way through with it and I couldn't find my mistake. And rather than just try to really work hard to find the mistake, I'm going to do a restart on that. But when I was on cross stitch, um, I'm stash and load cross stitch only, I think it was last week. It had to be last week. See, this came this week. I saw this tiny, tiny little Dumbo ornament. And so I'm gonna do this for him. I'm going to do it. They had some little 18 count fabric with it. I'm gonna pull my own fabric. I don't like trying to stitch on that tiny piece of fabric, but it comes with everything. I may finish it a different way for him instead of in the little um, frame here, which it, it comes with the frame. And it comes of course with all of the, the floss. And the good thing is this has DMC conversions. So if I decide, if I run out of floss or if I don't like the floss, I could just, change over and pull some DMC from stash. So yeah, I'm gonna have this done too. It's gonna to be in his little Halloween. I'm gonna send him something for Halloween, I always do. So this will be in his little, funny story, one night I was stitching, when I was stitching Pumpkin Queen, I said, I always, sometimes I'll show him what I'm working on because I talk to him every night. And I said, look Hunter, it's Pumpkin Queen. He goes, no, no Pumpkin Queen, Dumbo. He, I had not talked about the Dumbo cross stitch piece in several months, but he remembered. So when that came up, I'm like, oh yeah, that's something I could stitch fast. I will probably though, you know children, by the time that you get to stitching something for them that you think they'll like, they're on to something else. I still owe, I still have an angry bird, a blue angry bird that I cross stitched for my son Lee in 2012, back when he was way, way into angry birds. I keep asking him if he wants it, and he doesn't. And it, it you know, it's kind of a joke. Which was like, hey, I'll frame it, I'll frame it. Now, I did stitch a Hunger Games, I don't know, symbol, something from the Hunger Games for him. He's asked me to, to, to fully finish it several times, and I haven't. That might be something I pull out this weekend while he is here with us. So, wow, I have flown through this. We are 14 minutes in. So, let's talk about some good stuff. Let's talk about giveaways. 
we're going to draw for the $25 Etsy card, which, you know, I'm so excited. I am thrilled that I have a, I have now like 117, I think, subscribers. I'm just shocked that 117 people would subscribe to listening to me sitting on my couch just talking. That's That just blows me away. You guys are so kind and so sweet. And it just meant a lot to Steve and I really enjoy doing these. But before we draw for next week's prize, or for this week's prize, this week, next week, yeah, got it. I'll tell you about what's going on for next week. And I'm going to maybe have to read something. Um, Marie over at Needle Art on Charts, I purchased my Christmas flamingos from Hands On Design from her. I have not started those yet because I'm waiting on some fabric that I decided I want. I decided to do it on a different fabric than what I had in my stash. Um, and she was so helpful in finding things. She even sent me the trim, and there was a, a floss that I didn't have that she sent. Um, so I just, I, I love it when people give great customer service, and she certainly impressed me with how she really helped me. So I've been talking to her about, hey, I want, I want people to know about your business because you were really great. So we're going to do a giveaway this week. I'm going to give away a $20 gift certificate to Marie's business, Needle Art on Charts. Now, I asked her last night if she wanted me to talk about anything today. And she is doing a Halloween floss. I'm going to read this treat surprise i thought about doing this in my radio voice and doing it like a little commercial you know hey halloween floss treat surprise 15 dollars each package two dollars shipping you don't want to miss this okay that's all for that all right we're gonna leave that in so basically you get your choice of whatever floss you like she has um general arts she has um weeks dye works classic color works and, and a few others i actually just purchased um I think some sulky threads for her. She had some thread packs for sale and I decided that I wanted one. So I purchased that from her yesterday because she has great stuff. You just, and if you don't see it on her website, ask her, she could probably get it for you. She's also, she also posts a lot in cross stitch um, and stash unload cross stitch only. That's how I met her. I purchased my flamingos from her through that group. So um, it's a great, it, you know, it's, you know, you, you could give it to somebody. You can you could choose from gift themes. You can also you could choose like a, a floss pack for birthdays, for winter holidays. But just go and check out. She's actually going to post this Halloween floss treat surprise on her website. She said she was going to do that. It's going to be available through October thirty first, and it's fifteen dollars each. So hey, if you win the twenty dollar gift card, you can go buy the floss pack, and you can also buy some more stuff. So and two, if you want to buy more than what the twenty dollars is, you know just you know, work it out with Marie and just pay her directly. So it works out pretty good. So we're going to do that. So since we're talking about Halloween, I am going to ask you guys, I don't do a lot of Halloween. Never. I just never have been that into it. I was, I'm, I'm old. So I, um, there we go with um again in the seventies, we all wore those. Gosh, how do we breathe these plastic masks and these really cheap flimsy plastic costumes that are probably still in landfills all over the country right now by the way um i i wore those and halloween's never been my thing i've never really dressed well take that back here's a here's a good story for you from me i was kind of a rebellious teenager my poor poor parents <laughs> my poor parents um I, I i worked my way through college at kmart if anybody remembers what kmart is and um we had we would always dress up for Halloween, so I actually purchased some green tights and made myself a dress out of a garbage bag, a green one. I matched, put some green stuff in my hair. I know this is gonna sound gross, but you could do this. You could put I put safety pins under my skin, and you could do it. It doesn't even hurt. I put I, I clipped safety pins in my face. And went to work that way. Well, my mom decided that day she was going to come and see me. And at the time, I was working in the Lailway department. If you know what Lailway is. I used to call it Nailway. I thought it was Nailway growing up. The way my parents said it. I said, we're going to nail it away. It's Lailway. So, I was working in the Lailway department back when they had those. You could tell how old I am. Because, gosh, who has Lailway departments in department stores much anymore? And my mom, I saw her from the back coming up there. And I had a long line of people. And, of course, I was playing this punk rock green garbage bag, green hair thing to the hilt. <laughs> my mom walks up and I go, hey, y'all, that's my mama. She made me what I am today. Yeah, my mom was so embarrassed. But I was 
known for doing that kind of stuff when I was younger. As I said, I was a pretty rebellious child. So anyway, that's my Halloween story. So tell me your Halloween story. It could be embarrassing. If you don't celebrate Halloween, hey, no judgment here. Some people do, some people don't. We love everybody and everything and every tradition. I, you know, not trying to say, hey, tell me Halloween, even if you're, if you don't. Some people, like I said, it's everybody's choice to do that. So tell me your Halloween story. It could be a crazy costume. It could be something um, that, some kind of candy that you got. It could be the time that you got the terror. I, I don't want to hear any razor blade in your trick or treat bag stories, if that's okay. It'll, that would just depress me. But maybe you got some kind of candy you didn't like, or maybe you got a rotten apple, or maybe your sibling stole all your candy because I I could swear up and down that my sister stole all my Nestle Crunches one year, even though she said she didn't. I think she did because I know that I couldn't have eaten that many Nestle Crunches. That's when we were children. So, Halloween, the $20 gift card from Needle Art on Charts. And don't forget to go check them out and look for their Halloween floss treat i keep wanting to say tweet i don't know why but it's the floss treat surprise and check out all of their other things i noticed i love jbw design she has some of the cutest christmas patterns coming out and i noticed that marie posted about those a couple of days ago on her website so you can check that out too all right i know that this okay yeah you guys you're not hurting my feelings but I'm figuring out that this is about the favorite part of the show. And I don't think it has anything to do with the giveaways. I think it has to do with the fact that my husband's coming on the show right now. And he's going to say a few things. He's, he's going to put a hat on before he... He's going to put a hat on his head before he comes over here. He's been busy this morning. Um, our house is not always perfect. Because I have stuff everywhere because I'm crafting. So I have to put up all my crafting stuff for, before my son gets here for the weekend today. So, hello Steve. Hello. He's a happy man. Look at the hat he has on today. Good yeah. morning, everybody. Well, we made it first. We made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're take we take these on Saturday mornings. It's almost twelve o'clock. Hey, Cindy, it's almost time for the Vols to play Missouri. I will not be watching it. I'll have to listen to it in the car because we're going to be doing some things with with my son. He has on his Braves hat. Yay, Braves are going in, but they're playing are going to. The um, what's that NDLS? What is that? Okay, they're going to play the Flor the uh, I started to say Florida. It's the Miami <laughs> Marlins. That's their they're in their division, but they're it's the they're down to four teams in the National League now. It's so the National that, League Division Series. Yes, yeah, the National League Division Series, and they 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 go they they move on if they win three out of five, they move on to the league championship series which is step doorstep to the world series yay it's pretty exciting we, we're big big baseball fans and i'm really sad that baseball was short and i'm sad that it's over i'm always sad in october i love october's because it's pretty out but it usually signals the end of baseball and that makes me sad so anyway so yeah we've been happy about that the bulldogs play auburn that's an old rivalry tonight so and then the Falcons are on Monday Night Football. I don't know if we should be happy about that or not. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> um, so that's our sports. You always get a sports update me, here. Hey, me, there's one more funny, kind of, kind of funny, kind of not funny story. It's, it's because of coronavirus that this happened. But the L.A. Lakers and the Miami Heat are playing the NBA Finals basketball right now from last year mm -hmm. in a, at a time when October is the beginning of the current, what would be the current season. Yeah. So that's how, that's how far behind those guys are. Well, I'm kind of glad because I thought you were going to go meddling with my Tennessee Titans and talk about how they can't play the Steelers this weekend because of COVID. Oh, I can so get don't to meddle. that. <laughs> don't meddle. I'm also a Tennessee Titans fan. Okay. So don't meddle. All right. Well, so let me, let me, a positive thing about the Tennessee Titans, I want to, I'll give a, I don't know if he hears this or not, but I want to give a shout out to Vic Beasley, who's on the team up there. He used to be a Falcon, but he plays for the Tennessee Titans now, and and uh, his his uncle and I went to school together, so uh, 
Gay Vic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's from the town where we currently live, Adairsville, where we currently live. You guys now we're looking for a house. So say, if you're send us prayers, good thoughts, whatever you do, but we really need it. We're hoping to really crack down on house hunting. I'm taking a week off soon to really work on getting seriously. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but I'm going to be working on how. All right, it is time for the drawing. Okay, we have put all the names in Steve's hat. I don't even know what hat we're drawing out of today. Drawing out of the Jamaica hat. He has a hat that says Jamaica, so there's no sports team with this. Okay, let's see who has won the $25 Etsy gift card. Okay, come on, Steve. Don't, I don't have a drum roll. Okay. Huh? Woo! Woo! He, is, he wants to look at that himself. Hey! Cindy! Oh, my gosh! Go Vol, Cindy Cannon. You won that. Hello, Steve. Of all won this. So, Cindy, how exciting. I'm excited when all you guys win. Just Cindy Cindy was telling me that she was a Vols fan, and I'm a Vols fan. So, wow. That's that's very shocking. So, yay. <laughs> Cindy, all you have to do is my email is going to be in the description box below. Email me, and I will email you the gift card to Etsy. And you can go pick out. There's a lot of great patterns on Etsy. I Of course, I love Stitching with the Housewives. Um, I like Little Girl Stitch. I've only purchased one of her patterns, or Little Stitch Girl. Little Stitch Girl. Um, I've been in Lindy Stitches. There's so many. Um, Luminous Fiber Arts. I've bought so many patterns in the pa Hello, Liz Matthews. But there's a lot of great patterns on Etsy. So, Cindy, yay. Congratulations, Cindy. Guys, don't forget to enter next week. You get a $20 gift certificate from Needle Arts on Charts. And you, all you have to do is tell me your crazy Halloween story. I hope I didn't, I hope your opinion of me didn't change because of mine, but oh well. All right, guys, it's time to wrap up. Yay. We were, I thought this would be a very short video, but I gab on too long. So I apologize for that if you're just here for the stitching that I'm, I'm so, I'm so chatty. So you guys have an amazing week. We love you all and we will see you next Saturday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.